Hello everybody, I want to show you this video 10 cool things you can do with the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. And the first thing I want to show you is uh, if you're in a cinema or if you're in a meeting and you forgot to put your phone on silence, um, you can do something pretty cool. So if it's ringing, just put it on a flat surface or a table no? uh, and the phone is immediately on silence. And also pretty, pretty cool. If you pick up your phone later, could you hear that? You will have a little vibration and then you know, okay, someone have called me maybe during this time or uh, I received some messages and so on. And then you can just check it. Yeah, the next feature I want to show you is for the camera because if you're having a nice scene, you're looking first for the camera app and it takes a lot of time. So just double press the power button to open the camera. Now you have that. You have it immediately then without wasting time looking for the camera app and so on. Right? And pretty awesome is also, this works also on standby. So just double press the power button and you're immediately at the camera without unlocking the screen and looking for the camera app. And hey, made it saves a great picture one day. Okay, let me show you something more with the camera. Let me go to the front cam because if you want to make a selfie, uh, usually uh, you need to tap the shutter button, uh, but you can just put your hand like this and you're making a selfie. Then the phone knows, okay, the person wants to make a selfie. So just lift your hand like this and then after two seconds, the phone will shoot a selfie. Pretty cool. Yeah, and you can also clone apps with the phone. So that means maybe if you're having two Facebook accounts, well, you always need to switch within one app, but you can just clone the app and have then one app for one account. Same also with WhatsApp. So you can have two WhatsApp accounts here on the phone. So why not? You can insert two SIM cards. Why not having a WhatsApp account for each number? Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, tap on you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to scroll down to the point advanced features. And you will find the point dual messenger. So as the name says already, this works only for messaging apps. No? So let's uh, continue with our example here with WhatsApp. Just tap here. Then you need to confirm something if you do it for the very first time. Now after then just tap on install. And he's also asking you during the process if you want to have a separate contact list for your second apps. You can skip this feature. Uh, in case you want to have one day an own contact list for your second apps, you can create this here later again here at this area. Okay, now the phone is creating the second app of WhatsApp. And uh, let's maybe yeah, complete it here. Let's clone also here Snapchat and why not Facebook as well here. It's also part of our example and Messenger as well. By the way, if you have the light versions here of these uh, apps, no, so Facebook or Messenger, um, then you can't clone them. You need the real ones here. Okay, so let's have a look now how it looks like, how you can recognize the second apps. Okay. In the app drawer, we can see it already. This is my main WhatsApp account. This is my second one, my main Snapchat account, my second one. And as you can see, you can recognize always the second apps here with this orange corner here. Now, same with Facebook here, that orange corner. And this is here my main Facebook account. So pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, the next feature I want to show you is uh, if you're having children, no? so up to 10 years. Huh? then uh, sometimes if you give your phone to the children uh, or uh, if they sh should have this phone completely for themselves, then uh, it is better to protect them no, from all the stuff like the internet and so on and give them just permissions for special websites or which one are made for children or just give them numbers they are only available to call. No? Um, so then that they cannot call everybody. And so on. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So first of all, just scroll down here. Scroll down a second time. By the way, we have much more apps here, and we're having a second page. And part of the second page is here the plus symbol. And if you tap on the plus symbol, we can add some more icons. Huh? And one of the icons I want to show you is here the kids mode. So just long press the kids mode, and swipe it here to your shortcuts. Uh, so now I'm having here the kids mode. So just tap on done. And um, now if I tap you on the kids mode, um, I've pre-installed already something. Uh, um, because at first uh, you need to download all the apps here. Maybe, uh, let me show you an example. If you want to have that game here, just tap here on the 
game and then you need to install it né, from the Galaxy Store and so on. So this need to do that with all the apps. Né? Okay, let me show you now a bit more about these apps here. So the children have here their own camera. So when all the pictures they're doing here, um, they um, will have only available uh, First of all, you need to some confirm something, you know, and they are only available here at this children mode. So, and as you can see, we have not that many um, effects here. Now we have only photos and we have videos, so it's not that complex like in the um, in the real cam. Now then we have some effects here. Children loves that to have uh, here some artificial, artificial AI uh, emojis and so on. Sorry, I got I have problems to spell the word. And uh, yeah, so pretty, pretty cool. And um, also all the pictures they have done, they're only visible here at the gallery. No? And they cannot see your pictures here, by the way. No? So they can't delete something or maybe see pictures. They are not uh, allowed for them and so on. Um, and uh, yeah, then you have here also my phone. This is also pretty, pretty important because here you can um, allow your children to... Um, to just call some special people. No? You can add here some people to call uh, later here if you tap on a plus symbol and so on. But you have always to, as if you want to do that, you have always to verify with your phone pin. So the one to unlock the screen word. Huh? So, and that is a good protection um, if the children um, just want to use your phone and it's not uh, the phone of them. Huh? And uh, also my browser. No? So you can uh, enable some websites which one are only made for children or what you think that they're made for children and uh, they are not able to uh, do some more stuff and so on. No? And yeah, so pretty nice and we have some sweet games here also no? so that the children don't need to go always on YouTube or something like this or play games which one are not really made for children like Fortnite or something like this and you can, they can really play it sweet games and so on. And um, so a pretty, pretty nice mode. And um, if you want to exit that, this mode, um, you need also your phone pin. So if your child doesn't know this uh, phone pin or it, you can use it or do it also with your fingerprint um, sensor. And then, um, so in my case, it is four times the one, the, uh, the phone pin. Please take yours, so the one to unlock the screen word. Nah? Uh, then they can't leave this mode. And this is a pretty, pretty nice mode, especially for the small children. Um, if they want to have your phone next time, you don't need to give them YouTube or something like this. No, give them children content. And that's much better. Okay, and in case if your child is the owner of the phone, nah, then he knows maybe the phone to unlock the screen with and so on. So then you can enable also another code. Let me show you what I mean. So let's enter again the kids mode here. So just scroll in here, scroll in the second time, go on the second page, and then we have here our kids mode. And now go here on the three points and you can enable here the settings and you need your pin code as well here. So my case four times the one as we have learned, please take yours. And now you can change the lock type for the parental control. And if you tap here, then you can change it to Samsung Kids pin. And if you're doing that, uh, then so I take now four times the three, take the one which one is more safe. And uh, that means if I want to um, yeah, log out, I need now this special code. So uh, that's much better if the child is the owner of the phone or if your child knows your lock screen pin, then please set up another pin. Okay, the next feature I want to show you is a one-handed mode because the screen is pretty large um, and you cannot reach everything with one thumb in this moment. But there's a way to make the screen a bit smaller by just swiping down the home button and you have this mini screen here. Pretty cool, eh? But don't wonder if this doesn't work at you right now because you have to enable this feature first. Let me show you how you can do that. For that, just scroll down here, tap on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go again to advanced features and you will find the point one-handed mode. 
and this one has to be enabled like in my case here so mark blue right? that means whenever you swipe down now the home button of using the gestures also that way then you are having this mini screen and it is pretty cool because you can do whatever you want to you, know? you can even play games with and so on you have the full navigation here on the phone in case if you're left-handed you can also switch it to the other side here so pretty cool and also uh, what is pretty cool you can here change the position that it really fits your thumb in a perfect position no? so pretty pretty nice and now you can reach everything here with one hand and if you're finished with if you have both hands available again you just tap here on the outside and you're back at a regular mode so pretty pretty nice and if you want you can also take screenshots here with the phone so that means uh, if you want to make a picture of the screen use the buttons for so just the power button and the volume down button just press these both buttons push out together and you're having a screenshot and uh, after you can see the preview or you can edit the screenshot or share it directly with your friends with whatsapp messenger and so on so one more time the power button and the volume down button just for short together and you're having a screenshot if you tap now here the editing symbol you are able now yeah to draw something inside you no know, to highlight something if you want or here at the corners you can crop also a part after the screenshot well it's very useful if you want to capture a picture from a website or someone's whatsapp status and so on pretty nice so and after you can share this edited party directly or whatever you will send it to your gallery yeah, and by the way if you're looking for the screenshots here of course they're here at the gallery you know they're mixed up here the photos um i did you know, here are my camera selfies with uh, uh with, with the palm and uh, I would recommend to you, if you want to have your screenshots, always go here on the albums because the screenshots have here their own folder only for your screenshots. So pretty cool. Yeah, the next feature I want to show you is for our health because we are all looking too often on our smartphone screen and that gives our eyes a lot of stress. But there's a way to reduce this eye strain. Let me show you what I mean. So for that, just scroll down here. Scroll down a second time as we have learned. We have much more icons and a second page and one of the new icons is here the eye comfort shield it has the sun here uh, and if you tap now on the sun and uh, then you will see that your screen color have changed a bit have a yellow touch right now nah? and that's a blue light filter it protects your eyes and also will give you a better sleep uh, let me show you a bit more about it. just tap you on the written word now eye comfort shield because now you can change also the color temperature and as more warm it is as better it is for your eyes but if you say now, okay, on the day, oh, the yellow touched screen here, mm, it's not really something for me. Uh, you should have it at latest in the evening hours because as I have said, it affects also your sleep. And that you don't have to enable it also always by your own, then just tap your own details um, because you can schedule it. Uh, that it's always turned on automatically when if the sun sets and if the sun rises, this feature will turn off so pretty nice mode and you can do something also pretty nice for your eyes during the night uh, or during the evening because if everything is dark around you then um, a bright screen a white bright screen will also disturb your eyes uh, it feels pretty uncomfortable i think you know what i mean uh, but uh, there's also the way to put a dark theme on it uh, also just scroll down here scroll in a second time go on the second page now we will need the moon symbol here to enable this dark mode and as you can see now it is much more comfortable you know pretty uh, cool because most of the things are in a dark area right now and that really protects your eyes uh, but this feature i will recommend to you only in the evening hours because um, yeah on the day if there's a lot of sunlight you can't see well the screen and that's really as it's not it's the opposite then that's not good for your eyes now so only use this feature for the night and the evening and uh, that you don't have to do it always by your own just do it uh, as same as we have seen before so enable uh, the chat shoot mode so just go on the second page go now on the written word here for the dark mode and go on details and now you can uh, turn on as chat shoot and choose again from sunset to sunrise and that means when the sun sets turn on and the sun rises the dark theme will turn off yeah that has been uh, 10 cool tips and tricks here for your phone uh, 10 cool things you can do and yeah 
I hope you have seen something new in that video and I, that I could help you a bit here with these tips and tricks. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a something up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for. And I've created also some other videos if you're interested in with some more tips and tricks and so on. Or you can also subscribe me if you don't want to miss a new video. Um, yeah, would be a pleasure to see you again. And yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao.